start off by marking 27, two 27 inch pieces. This is a two by three. Next, we got a two by two, where this is eight foot length, just cutting it in half. Next, we're getting ready. We're taking the two by threes, and we are gonna drill holes in them for the, the wire. So this is where the two by twos go. Four inch gap, eight, eight, four. And then the other two by two. So use the size 732, just drill the holes through here, here, and here. All right, we've got some preset drills here. This is gonna connect onto our two by twos, right there. And then just countersink about halfway. All right, and now we're gonna connect these to those four foot sections we cut. So we're just gonna line it up and a uh, nice long three inch screw um, into here. What we're left with is this frame, two by four feet. And so you can see up here, we got the holes. There we go, one hole, two, three. So we'll run down three wires through here. Um, and we just connected it through here and here. So we've got the frame. All right, so now I'm weaving my nylon, thick nylon rope back and forth through this until I make like kind of what would be a washing line. Okay, and then at the one end, you just put a little washer in here and uh, I just double knotted it. Alrighty, so now we've got the three lines. And this one I just tied it around itself back here again. Keep the tension tight. All right, now onto the legs. So I cut four legs of 32 inches long. You can go longer or shorter depending on what you're doing, but that's about the size of my fan and how long I make the longest drill boss. Okay, so the four legs, the drill holes in the top for these and these wing nuts to go through. So this will go all the way through here. Um, and into the frame at the top. Okay, so put the frame up here and you'll see I've got a leg running down the side here. So this is where I'm gonna drill a hole all the way through and one of these nuts all the way through here like that. And the same on the other side here. For the inside, the leg will actually go on the inside of the, right there. All right. So the front ones have been drilled all the way through. Put those on, I'll secure them in a minute. Put the inside ones go here, but please make sure you leave a gap, otherwise this leg will not be able to turn up or down. All right, and the last thing to do is to um, bolt on the wing nuts. So we'll just tighten it, which will pull the bolt in. Is nice and tight, and we now have a leg. Alrighty, and then to keep the legs here, what I did was I drill a tiny hole in there, and I use some wire, and I make like a little pin. So that just goes straight in there, and then it stops the leg from moving a lot, so that that wall it'll stay up. So the table it's fully up right now all right next plastic all right so i just cut some off this roll just placing it underneath it and up this leg and the idea is to have this side closed all the way across and maybe a little bit up but this whole side open so a fan can blow straight in from this side all righty so i just stapled the black plastic around all around here on the outside edges. Across to here. So in the end, that's what it looks like. Air blows in there. Drippings, or get caught by the plastic. The meat always flies, so flicking to the plastic. And the air will eventually come out the top. And then it folds up to this. Thin plastic goes with it. I took the hooks that we have, 
to uh, pin those uh, legs and just attach to the rope and keep in there so you won't lose them. And then that's it. Now this can store anywhere you want it to. Hi, Ace.